I recently passed the security blue team blue team level one certification with 91% essentially qualify me for the gold coin and I've made a couple of videos about this certification I've answered questions but I still realize that a lot of people are still asking questions and just kind of really want to really know what this exam really is about and I figured might as well just answer your questions by doing a full course review and in-depth review of the syllabus provided by security blue team which pretty much covers all of the information you need to know before embarking on the course or the exam. With that said, let's get into the purpose of today's video. What is up guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I talk about cybersecurity and other life stuff. In this video, like I said, we're gonna be we're gonna be reviewing the security blue team certification um, in depth. We're gonna, gonna look at every single thing you need to know for the blue team level one certification. So let's just get right into it. Um, so, like I said, I recently passed the certification. Um, I have tons of videos. I actually have a whole playlist dedicated to the certification uh, and to dedicated to security blue team specifically and their training because I just really really like security blue team. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. But let's get into into it. So this is the, the homepage for the Blue Team Level 1. Um, as it says here, Blue Team Level 1 is the Junior Security Operations Certification. Um, it's trusted around the world to train technical defenders in governments, law enforcement, military units, financial institutions, telecommunication giants, and many more. It was built by industry experts and it transfers real-world knowledge and practical skills to students. And it covers six major domains. So security fundamentals, efficient analysis, threat intelligence, digital forensics, security information and event management, and decision response. And we're going to be covering each of these domains in depth in this video. So as you can see, it contains over 300 lessons, videos, activities, and quizzes, uh, 15 browser labs with 100 hours of access, which is more than enough. Uh, there's four months access to the training, and the training and exam price is $399. So it's bundled together with the course. Once you pay your $399, you get the training and you get the, the course and the exam and one. You also get a free exam uh, uh, retake if you fail your first time. So let's convert this three ninety nine to uh, dollars. That's about five hundred and forty dollars. Pretty steep price if you ask me, but um, it's actually really, 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 really worth the price. Uh, but with that said, let's get back into it. So. Um, Actually, before I get into it, they're actually running a ten percent discount right now. So if you can get like if you can get it for like four hundred or something, definitely just go read this and get your ten percent discount. All right. So uh, these are some companies that use they use that are you know they have Blue Team Level One certified professionals. We have a uh, DSV, we have uh, Tresco Labs, Alert Logic, uh, Bridewell Consulting, Deloitte. You know that's a big four con uh, consulting firm. Uh, we have Accenture, that's another big four consulting firm. Uh, what else we have? We have. Uh, we have Dell, that's another major company. Uh, we have DBS, we have uh, Doherty Associates, we have NAB, uh, we have DSV, so I think it just scrolls on. Yeah, so these are some major companies that use them, um, uh, that have Blue Team Level 1 certified professionals. Um, and you know, you have two, when you have two out of the big four uh, consulting companies, you know that it's a, it's, a, it's a big deal. So why our training? Why Blue Team Level 1? So the training course and certification exam were created under the supervision of the Academic Advisory Board, comprised of senior security analysts, SOC managers, and other security senior security roles, ensuring it is accurate, realistic, and applicable to modern security operations. So let's look at the advisory board. Um, so the experts behind the training. So their, their current advisory board has a combined total of over hundreds of years of security experience. Um, and some people have their names and pictures redacted for security reasons due to the nature of their work. Um, so these comprises of security analysts, uh, senior security analysts, security managers, cybersecurity instructors, um, and they ensure that the, the certifications are comprehensive and transfer the knowledge and skills necessary to succeed in the defensive world. So yeah, this person here is a senior security analyst, uh, now a SOC analyst and a co-founder of Fishtool, another, another senior security analyst. Um, as you can see here, they've worked in a CERT, uh, another, security, another senior security analyst, um, and an instructor at cyber, cyber uh, another se a senior security engineer. Uh, by the way, this is Cyber Warrior Studio, so definitely check out his channel. He has some really, really great content on there. Um, we also have a, a training program lead. Uh, we have Jake, who is a tactical threat, and threat analyst. We have uh, Sean Thomas, who is a SUC manager. We have this person, who is a senior security analyst advanced intrusion specialist 
we have a principal security analyst we have an incident responder so that's the that's the advisory board and you see they're very well certified and of course from the titles you can you can kind of determine that they have tons of uh, years of experience and you know this is for the blue team level two these other ones are for the blue team level one this is joshua beeman who is uh, the founder uh, and CEO of a uh, security blue team. So this is the, that's the academic advisory board and you can see there um, combines tons of people with uh, tons of experience. So let's get back into it. Um, this is success stories. All right. So uh, security blue team claims to have proven that their training can help change lives. Uh, the students have broken into industry or secure promotions as a result of taking their certifications, uh, they've developed the skills of entire security teams and forge stronger technical defenders. If you don't believe us, believe them. Read the story. So let's look at the stories. We have some success stories here. Um, if, you want to some, if you want to submit a success story, definitely reach out to them here. So this is Tom. Tom went from being a DevOps engineer to being a tier two SOC analyst. So he says here, back in 2020, he decided to transition from DevOps uh, into a role with more focus on cybersecurity, in particular, uh, DFIR, which is a digital forensics and incident response. He took the booting level one after months of decision making and was glad he did. And the hands on training gave him everything he needed to gain the coveted gold medal when he finally took the exam and the confidence to job straight into a senior SOC analyst role. The blue team level one also gave him the knowledge that could combine with his previous non cybersecurity related experience to create some well received digital forensic challenges on the blue team labs online platform. Uh, this is from JJ, so it helped him go from a suck analyst to a tier to suck analyst. Um, Bohan went from a student to a suck analyst. Jose went from data center operator to a suck analyst. Uh, Alex went from desktop support to uh, IR analyst. So you can go read all of these by yourself. Um, I'll leave links to all of these. As you can see, these are some success stories of people that have passed the exam and just really helped them in their career. Um, and let's look, at, let's, look at, let's look at the course overview. So, Bootlet 1 is designed to train technical defenders that are capable of defending networks and responding to cyber incidents. Below are some of the examples and experiences you gain. So, you learn how to respond to phishing attacks, you perform for forensic investigations to collect and analyze digital evidence, you will use a SIM platform to investigate malicious activity, you will log and network traffic. You do not, you, 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 you learn log and network traffic analysis, um, including malware infections, and you conduct threat actor research so let's let's keep let's get let's stop you know going you know, around all of this we can come back to this but let's go into the the syllabus itself um directly provided by security blue team so covers everything from each of the domains so let's gonna look into it um this let's see uh, copyright notice all right so i don't think i'm using this um, in any authorized manner it's publicly provided by security blue team and i'm simply just reviewing it so shouldn't be a problem all right so in the first domain, we have security fundamentals where you learn introduction, you learn soft skills, um, which is also really good. You also talk about mental health, which is which is a really, really key topic that you don't really see out there as much. Um, there's also, you learn about basics. Like this is like basic, like network plus security plus stuff, but at a really, really, at a really, really high level, right? Not really in depth like that, but really good to know. It helps you build the foundation for the rest of the course. Now you get into, you get into fishing analysis, this is where you learn all about phishing. Like it goes in depth about phishing. So you learn all of this stuff, uh, types of phishing emails, uh, tactics, tactics and techniques that um, um, attackers use for the phishing and how to investigate phishing emails. You also learn how to analyze phishing and uh, artifacts. So um, URL to tools, file tools, excuse me, um, visualization tools, a bunch, of, a bunch of different things like that. And also how to take defensive action. So if you've analyzed an email and you uncover it to be malicious, what defensive actions do you take? You also learn how to write a report based off of your analysis. Um, if you're going to be maybe uh, escalating that to a to a more senior analyst or just kind of documenting what you did. Of course, lessons learned and then there's a challenge they complete. Third domain is the threat intelligence domain. So this is where you learn about like threat actors, about threat intelligence, about APTs, um, operational intelligence, tactical intelligence. This is where you learn how to deploy MISP, which is a intelligence platform. Um, you learn about strategic intelligence, you learn about global malware campaigns, and you learn pretty much, you know, the basics of threat intelligence. Um, and this is usually applicable in some SOC environments where uh, threat intelligence is usually incorporated into analysis. Now we get into one of the fun domains, the digital, digital forensic domain. This is where you learn digital forensics, you learn forensic fundamentals, you learn, um, you know, basics of like hash and file systems, hard drives, and, you know, all of that fun stuff. You learn about digital evidence, so you learn about like how to uh, 
uh, the evidence, like how to uh, 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 to gather evidence or preserve evidence, chain of custody. You learn about FTK Imager. You learn about life forensics. You learn about how to use CAPE. Um, and there are practical activities that you can actually use these particular tools in the lab. That's what I give you 100 hours of lab time uh, as part of your course. You also learn about Windows forensics. So you learn about um, Windows artifacts, um, how to conduct Windows investigations. You learn about Win Linux forensics as well, how to conduct Linux forensic investigation. And then you learn specific tools like volatility for like memory analysis and aut autopsy as well, which is uh, really, really important. Then you learn about SIM. So this is where you learn. Uh, this is a really major part of the, the course. So you learn about login, aggregation, correlation, how to use Splunk. Um, there's also like a, a, a Splunk crash course showing you how to like create queries or alerts or dashboards and stuff like that. And there's also like an activity where you actually use Splunk as part of your labs for, uh, to, uh, for an investigation. Then the final domain is the incident response domain where you learn about the incident response life cycle, uh, why we need incident response, different things about incident response from the preparation phase to the detection analysis phase. Um, and there are tons, there's a bunch, there's like how many practical, uh, how many labs do they have here? Let's see. A ton of labs so yeah you have uh, a lab where you do categorize efficient emails you do manual artifact extraction you you do efficient response capstone you identify file systems you do metadata and file carving you do hash and integrity you conduct a windows investigation you conduct a windows investigation another time you use vol volatility for memory analysis you, you learn how to use autopsy for disk analysis these are all labs you also conduct windows event log analysis you uh, conduct Splunk investigation, Wireshark investigation, um, and then CMD and PowerShell incident response. And aside from this, uh, you can also do uh, so. There's a bunch of quizzes. There's like uh, different things on identifying phishing tactics. You also uh, can do password cracking. Uh, they also show you how to set up a threat intelligence platform like MISP. They also show you how to set up a firewall like PFSense. Uh, there's also a threat actor research activity. Uh, they also show you how to write signal rules, um, how to use attack navigator, and how to hunt with uh, with URL. So, as you can see, um, there's practical activities provided for you. 100 hours of lab time for you to practice all of these different things as part of your course, as part of that money you're paying for the course and the certification. So, you learn all of these things. You learn the entire incident response life cycle. This was really good for me because I only get to do the detection and analysis phase in my job. So, you know, using Wireshark or using Splunk or stuff like that. But th this gave me the opportunity to learn about the preparation phase, the detection and analysis phase. And also after that, which we do containment, eradication, recovery, and incident response. And this is the meat and bones of the, the course, which is really, really um, what the exam is really about. So the course covers everything you need for the exam, right? Every single thing you need for the exam. And I recommend just you know, downloading this syllabus and just, you know, studying it, just looking at what everything that's it's in this syllabus. It helps you understand what you should expect from the course. And, you know, any questions you might have would probably be answered by this syllabus. So definitely go on to Bluetooth Level 1's website and just kind of understand what this exam is about. Um, and, you know, that way you can, you can, you can, you can know if it's really right for you, um, especially wherever you are, you are at, at your cybersecurity career. Um, as you can see, the certification process is a 24-hour incident response um, exam um, and I have a time lapse where I, I, I show you my my 24 hour um, time lapse um, and this is where you 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 have uh, 12 hours to in a cloud-based lab to 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 analyze and respond to an incident and then you have another 12 hours to create a template to show your um, your what you did in your analysis so for you to pass you need to have you need to pass with a 70 percent um, and if you are to get a gold coin, uh, you have to pass with a 90% on your first attempt. I passed with a 91% of my first attempt, which is why I got the gold challenge coin. Um, and you usually get your scores typically within 30 days. I got mine in just about like less than three weeks. Um, but now they're moving to a different thing, which I recommend you uh, learn more about in the new platform details where you can get your scores instantly. So definitely check that out. Um, so yeah, as part of the certification rewards, you get... You get the Bluetooth of one certified for life. So you don't have to, you know, re you don't have to, you know, do like CPEs or to uh to what's it called? People what's you to renew the certifications. That's 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 what it is. And you also get the Bluetooth of one acclaimed digital badge. You get a printed certificate, which I hope comes soon. 
I'll be doing an unboxing video for that. You also get a silver challenge coin uh, if you do, if you got like a 70% and above. But if you got a 90% and above on your first attempt, you get a gold coin. You also get some nice laptop stickers. So that's that about the security blue team level one. This is an in-depth review. I hope this answers questions, you know, about the, the exam. Totally, totally recommend this exam. Um, I have tons of videos on my channel um, covering this exam or... I actually have a whole one hour live video where I was just ask, answering questions about this exam. So I'll leave a link to it in the description in the playlist that ha that's specifically for security blue team and the card to it somewhere um, on the screen. So definitely check it out. Um, I recommend this exam, you know, I highly recommend this exam. If you're looking to get into security operations, um, you know, to become a SOC analyst or a junior incident responder. So as you can see here, they say it's 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 for students or IT personnel, security analysts, um, you know, uh, incident responders, threat intelligence analysts, forensic analysts. So these these roles are roles that you can typically get if you study for this exam um, or use this course because they cover the skills um, required for these different roles. So that's it for today's video. Um, I hope this you know review covers most of the questions most people have about this exam um and of course if you have more questions you can leave a comment or also join the discord in the in the in the in the, in the description below i have a specific channel specific, specifically for the blue team level one to answer any questions or to have any conversation about the exam of course not breaching the exam nda or uh giving out any sensitive information but with that said thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video Please be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you didn't subscribe. And share this video with anyone who you think the Putin Level 1 will be valuable for. With that said, thank you once again for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.